So you can actually utilize environment variables within your Copilot in Microsoft Copilot Studio. Now it's kind of hidden where you can access these, but let me go ahead and show you in this video right now. Now there might be a host of different reasons why you may want to use an environment variable within your Copilot. A common one could be instead of hard coding certain components within to your Copilot that may be environment specific, this way you can pull them out and just have them have Copilot reference them through an environment variable. I've got some couple silly examples here, right? Our external link or a super secret API key. If you need to create an environment variable, you can do that. You can't actually do that within Copilot Studio, but you can do that within the Power Apps Maker Portal. Go into Solution, click New, click More, Environment Variable, and create it there. But that is not necessarily what we're talking about in creating environment variables. Let's show you how to access them actually within Copilot Studio. So assuming your environment variables are created and set up, make sure your Copilot is up to date and has been refreshed recently. For example, if you just instantly created an environment variable and don't refresh your Copilot, it probably isn't gonna show up, but this is refreshed. And I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to, this is our coffee Copilot, to our how coffee is made topic. Um, so you can get to any topic that you want into kind of the conversation canvas as you might call it and go ahead and add a node. Now, however you want to access this variable, it may be through a condition statement, it may be through a custom connector or passing it to a Power Automate flow or using it and sending it in a message. However you want to do that, go ahead and use the action that you want. In my example, um, let's say that we wanted to... Um, have some conditional logic on this. Right here where I can select the variable, you'll see here would be all my custom variables, here would be all my system variables, and here would be my environment variable. So here's kind of those two that I just showed you, um, that external link and that super secret API key um, that I showed you in Power Apps. Now say for whatever reason you wanted to send this external link, you can totally do that. You can send a message, and then here under the insert variable, um, you'll see this kind of environment tab here as well. So this would actually send whatever is in the variable in the, you know, the message itself to the person interacting with Copilot. I actually was on a project recently where we needed to utilize some custom connectors or even connect the Copilot to um, the Azure Safety Content Studio and or Azure Content Safety Studio. And in doing so, we utilized several different environment variables, um, whether it was GUIDs for security roles or the uh, API keys or a link to the certain connector environment we wanted to use. These are all kind of different scenarios that you might need to utilize environment variables. Thank you to you for sticking the end of the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of the Citizen Developer channel. I'm excited to connect with you in the next one.